How's it going guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking into Cortado's side quest in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. First of all, who exactly is Cortado? Well, he is the NPC we can find at Mount Congo at the first of the idols at Senpo Temple. If we jump down here to the right immediately after the idol, just before we get to the area where the kite is flying, we'll be able to see him leaning up against the tree. After a little bit of dialogue, he'll mention he's got left behind and is looking for some type of a flower. So all we have to do is go looking for this so-called flower for him and bring it back. But as it turns out, they're not actually flowers we need to look for, they're just pinwheels. And there are two different pinwheels we can find and we can give either one of them to him. However, depending on which of the pinwheels we give him, the side quest can go one of three different ways. So the first thing we need for this is to know where the pinwheels are. First, let's look at the red and white pinwheel as it's the easiest and quickest one to get and you've most likely already picked it up anyway. We can find this just before the armed warrior mini boss fight above the temple. To grab it, all we need to do is once we jump up the mountainside, instead of actually turning right to go in towards the actual mini boss fight, we wanna turn left and head to the side of the cliff and here we'll be able to find the red and white pinwheel. Before we turn around and go back the way we came, it's important to note that the plain white pinwheel is also in this very same direction. All we need to do is look down below us and we'll notice there's a few platforms and grappling jumps we can go to. So simply follow the path I'm taking here in the gameplay in the background until eventually you come across the plain white pinwheel. It's on the same pathway towards the demon bell. So now it's decision time of which of the two pinwheels we want to hand in to Cortado. Do we want to give him the red and white one or simply the plain white one? To make this decision, obviously let's look in to the outcome of each choice. First, let's look at the red and white pinwheel. By handing this one in, we have two options in itself. One of them is going to be to help the merchant Anayama, which is the merchant at the beginning of the game, whom we gave 50 gold to start up his business. If we choose this option, it will slightly expand the inventory of some of the items that Anayama can sell to us. To be very specific, if we choose this option, Anayama will begin to sell us infinite Icos sugars. We can buy four scrap magnetites, three yellow gunpowders, and three lump of fat wax. So those are the things you'd be able to buy if you send him to help out Anayama. And the other option is to send him off to the abandoned dungeon. And this option is simply to advance Dojin's side quest and we'll get three lumps of wax. So now let's look at what we can do if we hand in the plain white pinwheel. If we hand the plain white one in, we'll have the option of using the divine abduction tool twice in a row. And this will send Kotaro off to the divine realm, which is the place we fought the four monkeys. If we go and speak to him there, he'll give us the Taro Persimon, which is an edible item we can give to the Divine Child to eat later on. So those are the options we have, and those are the outcomes that they give us. I hope you did find this very helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.